everybody. I'm Jackie K. Cooper, and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Asteroid City. Now, this is a Wes Anderson film, and I sometimes feel like you either get Wes Anderson or you don't get Wes Anderson, except I've gotten Wes Anderson in some of the movies, and I haven't gotten Wes Anderson in some of the other movies. The Grand Hotel Budapest is my favorite Wes Anderson movie, and... There have been animated films that he's made. There, there are tons out there. But his latest is Asteroid City. And as best I can describe it, it's a movie maybe a, that starts out as a radio show that tells about a play and then it kind of interrupts it to tell the background of the play or what was going on with the playwright, played by Edward Norton, uh, when he was creating the play, but there are three acts to the play, uh, different scene, number of scenes in the play. I don't know. You have to see it to understand it. It is chock full of people, stars. I mean, some have one line and they're gone. Others have a more major part. The major roles are played by Scarlett Johansson, uh, Jason Schwartzman, Tom Hanks, Maybe they're the main part of the cast, but then there are others in it. Tilda Swinton is in it. She's a regular for Wes Anderson. Maya Hawke from Stranger Things is in it. Uh, just, just an assortment. Uh, Margot Robbie has one scene. When I was watching it, I wasn't getting it. Uh, I, it almost, you know, I was just kind of nodding off thinking when is this thing going to end and what and then it'd be a little funny thing and i'd perk back up and then it'd be another stretch but then when i got through with the film i'm driving home and my wife and i are talking about it and i said what you know wasn't that crazy when such and such happened and we laughed about such and such happening and then wasn't that funny when such and such and i wonder if this meant such and such thinking about it was better than seeing it if that makes sense any sense at all to you. But there are little things. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's character is an actress, and in one scene they film her on a train and she's got blonde hair and she looks like Kim Novak from Vertigo. And then another scene, she's a brunette and she's got a certain hairstyle that's reminiscent of Elizabeth Taylor in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. And I think these were, you know, they were made for that you know, moment for you to associate with it. And there are clever things like that that are woven through. But just to sit there and see the movie, it sometimes gets tedious. It is rated uh, PG-13 for profanity and nudity. I scored it five out of 10. It was not the best Wes Anderson. It was not the worst Wes Anderson. It was the middle Wes Anderson. And like I said, reflecting back on it, I enjoyed it more than I did when I was actually sitting there watching it. So that's kind of a complex review, talking out of both sides of my mouth, but that's the best I can do for you. But this has been Jack K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film Asteroid City.